Hi everyone, welcome to another spooky episode of the Ashford English School YouTube channel. My name is Keishi and I'm joined as always by a yoga expert, Andy. Oh, hi everyone. Andy, what are you doing? I'm studying this map of Tokyo. Nobody uses paper maps anymore. Why don't you just look on the internet? Oh, you can't find this kind of map on the internet. It's a very special map. What do you mean? It's a very old ghostly map of Tokyo. Ghostly map of Tokyo? That's right. I bought it in a mysterious bookshop in Jimbocho. Wow! Can I look at it? No, no, no. The old bookseller told me that the map can only have one owner at a time. If anyone else tries to touch it, they will be sent straight down to hell. Okay, I know you're joking. I'm deadly serious, but if you'd like to try your luck... No, 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 no. I'm not scared, but... Of course not. But I can tell you about some of the mysterious places in ghostly Tokyo. Okay, that sounds safer. Mm. Okay, Andy, what is the first mysterious place on your ghostly map of Tokyo? Well, first of all, I think we should pay a visit to Otomachi. Otemachi? There can be anything ghostly in Otemachi. Well, actually, just outside the C5 exit of Otemachi subway station is the grave of Tyler no Masakado, or rather, the grave of his head. Oh, I know his story. Really, then, please tell us the story. Well, Tyler no Masakado was a samurai defeated in battle. His head was cut off and taken to Kyoto. Wow, that's gruesome. Why did they chop his head off? Mm, to prove that he had really been killed. Oh, I see. And what happened next? Well, maybe, um... You know what? What? You should tell the story. I see. Okay, well, they displayed his head in Kyoto, but the head was so angry that it didn't have a body that it flew away. Flew away? It's true. It flew away to a small fishing village called Shibasaki. Really? Yes, and there, to stop the angry head from flying around the village every night, the villagers buried it on a hill by the sea. Mm. How did the head get to Otemachi? Well, Shibasaki later became Edo, which then became Tokyo, and now the hill by the sea is in Otemachi. Hold on a minute. Otemachi isn't on the hill by the sea. That's true, but it was once. Since Edo times, there's been a lot of land reclamation. Land what? Land reclamation, or umetate in Japanese. Oh, I see. So many places in Tokyo were once under the sea. Oh, that's true. Anyway, whenever anyone has tried to move the grave, people have died. Oh, that's scary. It certainly is. But I'd like to visit the grave. It's interesting. But I thought you were scared of ghosts. Hmm, Tyler no Masakaro only causes trouble if someone tries to move his grave. In that case, I think he must be pretty angry right now. Why? Well, recently someone has been messing with his grave and they've changed it from this wonderfully atmospheric place to this. Okay, for me it looks like it has become less spooky but I'd wait until he's had time to calm down. I think that's a very good idea. Where's the next place on your ghost map of Tokyo? Well, next I think we should visit a shrine in Yotsuya. Oh, I love visiting shrines. You do? In that case, you will love Oiwa Inari Tamiya Jinja Shrine. Oiwa from Yotsuya Island? That's right. She's one of Japan's most famous ghosts. She was poisoned by her treacherous husband because he wanted to marry another woman. Oiwa's face was horribly disfigured by the poison and her hair fell out. Oh. After she died, she returned from the grave as an onyo, a vengeful ghost, to get her revenge on her awful husband. I don't want to visit that shrine. But it's a very nice shrine during the day. You should pay it a visit. No, thank you. Perhaps then you'd like to visit Oiwa's grave at Myokoji Temple. Definitely not. What a pity. Andy, I hope that the final stop on your map is a little less scary. Mm, 
perhaps. Oh, I don't like the sound of that. Well, it is a ghostly map, not an ordinary map. Okay, tell me all about it. Well, not far from Oiwa Shrine, there's a nice area called Arakicho. The streets are lined with inviting izakaya, and there's a small shrine dedicated to the goddess Benzaiten next to a lovely little pond called Muchino Ike. Muchino Ike? Isn't there a story in your book called Muchino Ike? That's right, I wrote it after visiting the pond. Oh, that was a scary story. Is it true? Of course not, it's just a story. Oh, that's a relief. Then please tell me about the real. Well, the pond was once part of a feudal lord's estate. What is a feudal lord? A daimyo. Oh, I see. I think that Arakicho and Muchinoike look like nice places to visit. I think I will go there and enjoy the atmosphere. Well, if you do decide to visit the pond, don't forget to take some cucumbers. Cucumbers? That's right. The pond is said to be home to some dangerous kappa who always demand cucumber from visitors. Just a minute. This sounds like another of your stories. You are making this up. No, no, no. It's completely true. The local people always leave cucumbers at the shrine for the kappa. If you don't have any cucumbers, then the kappa will... They will what? Ooh, it's too horrible to say. Mm, I can't tell if you're telling the truth or telling another big lie. Have I ever lied to you? Yes. But just to be on the safe side, I'm never going to Alex Joe. Hold on a minute. In our video about River Yokai, you boasted that you weren't afraid of Kappa and that you could easily get the better of one. I did? Yes, you did, and everybody knows it. Oh, I mean, uh, look, we ran out of time. If you've enjoyed learning all about Ghostly Tokyo, please give this video a like. And don't forget to click the subscribe button below to make sure you don't miss any of our New Yorker videos. See you next time. See you.